In this video, we'll think about the question of what is a log function. Think about it this way. When you're reading a book or an article and you encounter a word you've never seen before, what do you do? Well, typically you look it up in the dictionary. So when we think about the word logarithm, if we look up the lo word logarithm in our mathematical dictionary, here's the definition that we find. So we've got this new notation, log, which is just short for the word logarithm, so the log base a of x equals y. This is a type of equation that we may not have seen before. So what does it mean? Well, it turns out that what it means is the same as the equation a to the y equals x. It's just a different way of writing that exponential equation. So the base of the logarithm is the same as the base of the exponential. And the value of the logarithm is the exponent itself. And then the number inside the logarithm is the value of the exponential expression. So as long as we can keep in mind that those three things match up in the way that we see here, then we'll understand our logarithmic equations. Let's look at some examples. So the log base 5 of 25 is equal to 2 because 5 to the 2 equals 25. So again, let's see where our three numbers match up. The base of the logarithm is the same as the base of the exponential expression. The value of the logarithm is the exponent. And then the number inside the logarithm is the value of the exponential expression. So the log base 5 of 25 is 2 because 5 to the 2 equals 25. What about the log base 8 of 8? Well, that equals 1 because 8 to the 1 equals 8. This time we've got two 8s, so let's see, make sure we know which 8 is which. The base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential expression. The value of the logarithm is the exponent itself. And then the number inside the logarithm is the value of the exponential expression. Let's do another one. The log base 10 of 1 tenth is negative 1 because 10 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 10. Remember that negative exponents give us those fractions. So again, let's trace through our numbers here. The base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential expression. The value of the logarithm is the exponent. And then the number inside the logarithm is the value of the exponential expression. What about the log base 6 of 1? Well, that equals 0 because 6 to the 0 equals 1. The base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential expression. The value of the logarithm is the exponent. The number inside the logarithm is the value of the exponential expression. What about the log base 9 of 3? Well, that's 1 half because 9 to the 1 half equals 3. Remember here that when we raise something to the 1 half power, what we really mean is the square root. So 1 half exponent means square root. So that's really the square root of 9, and we know that that equals 3. The base of the logarithm equals the base of the exponential expression. The value of the logarithm is the exponent. And the number inside the logarithm is the value of the exponential expression. So the key to understanding logarithms is to understand this definition. If you understand how the three numbers in the logarithm definition in a logarithmic equation if you understand how those three numbers match up with an exponential equation, then you're well on your way to working with logarithms successfully.